Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 12, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to this full video, our signal service and our online trade and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied the last three days and we are heading towards the 50 moving average. We have pulled back a little bit, but it is probably very likely that we'll head towards the 50 moving average. So 91.27, that is probably where we are heading at this point. Um, this has made a lot of problems for the commodity and so on. So most of them have been rallying significantly uh, due to the fact that the US dollar has depreciated. And now when it starts to appreciate, um, they basically, for example, oil, uh, copper and gold and so on, all of them have struggled significantly uh, today. The same goes for indices, uh, um, stocks and so on and so on. So if this start, continues to, to, um, to appreciate, then we'll see a continuation of a fall in, for example, commodities, precious metals, indices, and so on. So pay attention to the US dollar index. So we'll start by looking at oil. So oil um, are, is trading at the moment at the 52.15. We broke down all the way down to 51.62. And uh, yes, at the moment we are here. So we are fairly overextended we have been overextended for quite some time you can see that we're trading way above uh, the fibonacci not the fibonacci retracement we are trading way above the bollinger bands and usually what happens here is that you pull back towards the middle of the bollinger band so expect the fall here towards the 48.80 um, at least down to 50 we should see a fall before going higher um, for example, here we were outside a little bit outside of the bullish band. We fell all the way down to 1646. Uh, same goes for here, same goes for here, and same goes for basically over here when we touch the top of the bullish band. So it has been it has been historically when you go outside of the bullish band, it basically pulls back significantly. The best thing example is down here when we went outside of the bottom and then made this enormous rally to the upside all the way from uh, 33 up to 52 dollars within a span of just two well a big month one and a half month so at this point um pullbacks are buying opportunities a pullback towards the the middle here the bullinger band that is basically your entry point if you see that it turns around technical indicators are fairly mixed macd is bullish the stochastic is crossing the signal line uh, sorry cci is turning around and we are overbought. So pay attention, overbought conditions, plus we're above the uh, Bollinger Band. That is not a good indication. This is um, very, very much ready to fall, especially also when the US dollar starts uh, appreciating that it's going to work against uh, the oil market. So let's look at that gas. So We've had a massive rally at the end of the session. We are at the 50 moving average at this point. Um, we are trading just at the 50 moving average, so we pulled back a little bit. We're also on the edge of the, the Bollinger Band here. So you can see that the technical indicators are all turning around. They've become very bullish at this point. If we start trading above the 50 moving average, then that is a very encouraging sign. That means that we are going to head towards uh, the tree. And uh, if we break that, then we are going even higher. So this was fairly surprised, uh, surprising because uh, weather conditions have not been as cold as expected. And usually that is what drives this market. But we are in a little bit of limbo here. We need to break the 50 in order to go higher. If we get rejected here, that basically means that we go back to the middle of the Bollinger Band, which are down 20 exponential moving average. And if that breaks, we'll head towards the bottom here at the just above the 200 moving average. So either way, there's technically no reason to enter this market whatsoever at this point. So let's look at copper. So 
Copper has made a massive move to the downside, down roughly uh, 3%. And uh, we haven't seen a, a, this kind of fall in the copper market uh, basically since down here. It was basically in the end of September where we had this major fall outside of the Bollinger Band. And then we had a nice rally to the upside. Basically, we've been rallying ever since. But this is very interesting. We basically broken the 20 exponential. We're um, heading towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is 3.46. Technical indicators are all turning around. There's a lot of room to the downside. And yes, we may actually go towards the bottom here, even the 50 moving average. So that is a very a good buying opportunity for uh, this um, for copper. So see how far this goes. If we have a pullback from here, then it's also possible to head that it will head back towards these highs at 3.729. But I would pay attention to the US dollar. What happens there will have a grave impact on what happens here in the copper market. So let's look at gold. So we continue our fall. We went all the way to the bottom here at 1816. It's basically the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Uh, technical indicators are still very negative. All of them, there's still a room to the downside. And we are technically playing with fire at this point. Uh, due to the fact that if we start trending, uh, trading underneath the 200 moving average, then that opens the door to... Uh, 1750 and then it opens the door to much 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 lower levels so this is a very varying sign for gold if US dollars continues to appreciate that will basically hammer this even further so we did um, break down all the way down to 1816 or 1815 and then pull back above the 200 moving average um, so we'll see what happens with we can look at the horror chart still very negative one hour chart also very negative so there is not a lot of encouragement that we are going to see a massive rally in this market so pay attention if we fall below the 200 moving average then we are most likely going much lower and if we stay here and don't manage to break below the 200 moving average that may uh, signal that we are going to go higher this could also be that's probably the last thing I was going to say about that. So just pay attention to what basically happens here. So let's look at silver. So silver, very um, similar here. We have you know, four consecutive days of basically uh, decline in the silver market. We're trading at roughly at 24.88 at this current stage, just above the... 50 moving average, we basically broke down nearly all the way down to the, uh, the lower part of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators are dreadful for, for silver. So if we start trading below the 50 moving average, that opens the door to these previous lows here. That's a roughly 22.24 and also the 200 moving average, which is 21.81. So if we don't manage to break the 50 moving average, then we may have another turn to the upside. But this just does not look very good. So um, it is going to be very interesting what basically happens here. The same goes for, for example, the US dollar index. If it starts appreciating, that will also start hammering this market. So let's look at platinum. So here, very similar thing. Basically, basically, commodities and precious metal were just a hammer today, all of them. So we have dropped from the highs here of uh, 11.28 uh, all the way down to uh, 10.05. And at the current stage, we are trading at 10.31. Um, technical indicators are dreadful for platinum, so we may have another run at the 50 moving average if that holds. And then we, it may turn around here, but but similar thing. Um, what happens to the US dollar will probably affect this uh, massively, and because and, and there just isn't the demand out there. Coronavirus still is hammering the world economy, so demand for most commodities and precious metals is just not the 
same as prior to the coronavirus. But 50 moving average, if it is uh, supportive, then a stop loss run underneath and the target of these highs, that is probably the best trade you can do here. So, Palium. So, same thing. We are trading at the we're trading at the highs here, of roughly 25.20, and the very lows of uh, uh, 21.82. And at this current stage, we're right in the middle. So there's nothing really happening here. If we break all the way down to the bottom, then it's a buy. If we break all the way to the top, then it's a sell. And we have been doing this for technically forever. And right in the middle, we, at the moment, we are basically in the middle. So I will not. I would not trade this whatsoever. I would wait until we get to one of these extreme um, highs or very lows in order to enter this market. So I hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.